Hi guys, I'm Tati, I'm an editor, and in today's video, we are going to be looking at how I make my thumbnails. You guys have been badgering me, DMing me, commenting on my videos, asking me how I make my thumbnails. And the thing is, I've avoided this question for so long because I think how I make my thumbnails is the easiest way in the world. There's actually nothing much to them, I promise you. It's gonna take like a two minute tutorial, I think. I say that and then sometimes when I'm recording, I'm like, wait, actually, I'm kind of doing a lot, just a little bit. Um, So well, I guess we'll see how long this video is. But also it's funny because I'll be like, you know, surfing the web, looking at other editing tutorials, and I'll be seeing that my thumbnails look pretty similar. I'll be like, oh my God, is this is one of my videos? And I look and I'm like, wait, this isn't from my channel, but it looks so similar. I'm not spiteful or anything about it. I think my thumbnails aren't like trademarked or anything. They're pretty simple and they're basically easier to copy. Um, but I just think it's kind of funny. So anyways, we will be learning how to do it with my thumbnails. And I want to say happy summer happy summer before we get into the tutorial we have to watch our beloved commercial and i see you guys after the tutorial hello there like most editors i have a pay hip now granted most of the things on my pay hip i already have tutorials on my youtube channel for however if you're lazy or just want to support me i have a numerous amount of resources and presets on my pay hip that includes my popular glitch style pack my shake pack and even colorings plus more if the prices are too much for you you are not obligated to buy it but if you do thank you so much and enjoy Hi guys, welcome to the long awaited thumbnail tutorial. Like I said, I don't do anything crazy with my thumbnails, but for the sake of it being highly requested, that is why we're doing the tutorial today. The first thing is I like for my thumbnails to be the actor or celebrity of whatever project of theirs I'm editing and I'll look up behind the scenes. I'm not editing anyone specific today, so I'm just gonna look up actors behind the scenes um, because it just looks more aesthetically pleasing. Oh, I miss her. I miss her so bad. Um, okay, we're gonna try this picture. So I got my picture and now we're gonna go to After Effects. Here we are. So we go to new composition and then I have a preset saved of the ratio for thumbnails. It's just 1280 by 720 and then that's all we need. Okay, so now I'm gonna insert the picture. Um, you know, I kind of want, I kind of want this one. So I enter the picture and then I do command D, which is gonna duplicate it. And it's best if you get square pictures. Like you see how this is a perfect square um if you get one that's not a perfect square it's gonna be hard it's gonna be hard to size it it doesn't have to be perfect i don't make it perfect but i try to get it centered as much as possible one thing you do is you can click this symbol and turn on grid well that's i don't know if that was the right grid one of these oh you can turn on proportional grid and you could line it up like this i don't know how to work this like i I can't, but if you do know how to work this to make it centered, then you could do that. Um, but I just kind of eyeball it and do what looks good. Yeah, that works. Okay, now you just pre-compose both of them together so that it doesn't, you know, like move everywhere. I add my own coloring. So I have colorings, of course, and depending on the picture, I'll just look up, for example, like I have forest. I'll add it and, you know, it looks pretty dark here, so we're not going to do forest but i also have true boots so i just go through my colorings okay so here i have greenland this isn't bad so i zoom that in um a little bit because she's kind of off and you can kind of tell okay so after that i add text to so this video is how to make thumbnails and i always do ariel black and ariel bold so this is what i'm gonna do and then i bold it again then i duplicate it and i write after effects so that people don't get confused on what application this tutorial is for okay then i do ariel narrow i hope it's i don't even know is it ariel or is it ariel i don't even know i scale it down now this is my favorite part as so i look up gradient a four color gradient will come up right and i always add it to the main text now since this is kind of like a blue green vibe i kind of just wing it here and i make it blue and greens you just have to mess around. Then you're gonna go and look up deep glow. Then I turn down the radius. You can turn down the glow. I always typically keep it there. And then I look up drop shadow, make it from six to 10, depending on how you want it to look. Then you go to the after effects part and I'll either just add deep glow or I'll make it like red or green. Um, I'll keep it white, so it looks fine. Okay. Then you zoom it up some. Last thing I add is overlays. This just depends on what kind of overlay I want, but it's typically between the hearts and stars, etc. As you can see, my overlays are kind of stacked here. So I like to go with hearts and I scale it. And then 
I'll layer my overlays because I want a light leak. Blending mode, then I go to screen, and then I'll turn down the opacity. Well, that's ugly, never mind. Okay, I'm gonna turn down the heart's opacity a little bit. So after I add my overlays, I add deep glow to both of these, and then I obviously will turn it down. And then I add it to my other clip. I'll add tint. With tint, you can just change the color. So I kind of change it to whatever I see fit. This is a good color. Now with tint, it kind of takes some of like the shape away. So I just up the exposure on the stars more. And then with the overlays, you want to put them behind the text so that they don't get in the way. And then sometimes I have to size the text because it'll get in the way. Then I pick a frame that I like and then I go to composition, save frame as file. And then I'll go to the output put module and I'll do PNG sequence and then render and then that is how I make my thumbnails guys don't worry about the quality too much because on YouTube you're not really gonna be able to see the low quality thumbnail picture so while it looks pretty bad here I don't think it'll look that bad when I upload it to the YouTube thumbnail also if you're curious about overlays that I use I don't sell an overlay pack on its own because I don't make my overlays and I feel kind of weird selling a bunch of things I haven't really made but I do include them in my resource pack so I have all the overlays that I use and I think the soft style pack but you have to buy the whole pack <laughs> to have them because I don't want to sell overlays on their own because it's kind of a bit weird and the coloring is Greenland it's also on my pay hub and yeah I hope this helped and you can go back to the other talk to you now welcome back how's the tutorial it's good to hear uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the thumbnail tutorial let me know if it was helpful I really feel like it wasn't that helpful but if it was I'm glad um, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for any purchases that you guys have on my pay hip. Every time I make a video, I get like 10 purchases for my pay hip and I really appreciate you guys so much. Let me know what you guys want to see and okay, love you. Bye. Mwah.